Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So we haven't done this in a little bit, but since there's a new Brawl Pass that came out today, I thought why not give it another run? You guys love the first video. So today what we're going to be doing is a 1v1 challenge. And if you beat me, I will buy you the Brawl Pass. So we have five different people, the first five that DM me on Twitter once I made the post. So if you guys want to participate in these videos, just drop a follow to the Twitter links in the description below or on your screen. It flashes all the time. But we're going to be facing five people. They get to pick the brawler, the gadget. They get to pick the star power. They get to pick everything. And if they beat me, they get a free brawl pass. With that being said, let's not waste any more of your time with the intro. Let's hop into the games and let's see what happens. Okay, so I forgot to include this in the intro. I do every single time. But the 1v1 is determined by kills, not by stars. So whoever gets the most total kills wins. If it's a tie, obviously we do it again. So we're going to pick Dynamite with Jump and the Stun gadget so starting off he seems to know how to jump so that's pretty op for him i'm gonna pick up the star even though it does absolutely nothing i'm gonna try and catch him in the with the gadget not gonna be able to i think the jump isn't very good in 1v1s to be honest because i think it just shows people where you're landing but it's fine we're gonna have a little bit of a lead early on in this we can't just one shot with demo unfortunately we should be able to pick up a kill here oh please I think we got that. There we go. So we got it. One to nothing for us. Pretty good start for us so far. We're going to move back here. Going to wait for him to jump because he does seem like he likes to jump a lot. And when he jumps, we're going to try and hit him with that gadget. So he's going to move down over here. Let's try and get him. Oh, he baited us, I guess. We're going to get that kill though. So two nothing us. Looking pretty good. Just about a minute left in the game. Going to go aggro here. He's going to jump. We should have this kill. There we go. We have that kill. He could have supered us if he was really quick with it. He wasn't though. So he's not going to be able to get the hit. Going to try and catch him off guard with the gadget. We're not going to be able to. Going to waste our super as well. So things are looking pretty good here for us. I think I'm just going to jump over here. Because why not? He's been jumping a lot. So I think I got to join him. Only one more stick to get the kill. This one should be kind of free. There we go. Free kill. Just as I said, I don't think jumping is really very meta in these 1v1s, which is kind of unfortunate because jumping is really fun. But this one's going to look like a pretty easy W. Let's see if we can get a jump kill here. Oh, oh close. I guess I'm not pro enough like Lukey Bear. But anyways, 12 seconds left. We're going to be able to get that one. That's going to give us seven stars. I think we're just going to let him kill him or kill us so he can, you know, get at least one kill. But that's going to be it for the first game. Dynamite is going to be one one win. I don't know. I was going to say one nothing, but one win. Zero losses so far. Let's move on to the next brawler and let's keep going. All right, so here we go into our next game. We have a returning contestant. We have this guy back at it. He's going to choose Poco this time. Now, Poco is going to be basically a poke fest so we're just gonna chill here and basically do this until someone gets an advantage now what you want to do in a poco 1v1 or like a frank 1v1 or something that's just an obvious stalemate is to try and get the other player towards the back of his map or into his spawn now obviously each hit counts but you guys can see i'm slowly making my way forward he's gonna be pushed up against a wall really soon i'm trying to use the edge of my shot as well because the edge does get to them a little bit faster i think there we go, our first hit. So we're just going to be moving up here. Second hit. Now that I have two hits, I'm going to go aggro, push him right against this wall here. So now he's got nowhere to juke. He's forced into this wall. He's got nowhere to go. I'm going to use that on him to keep him low. He's going to try pushing out. Going to try and have him waste some shots. He's still stuck in that corner. We have a one shot advantage on him right now. So things are looking pretty good. We're going to have him waste his gadget. And he's still going to be stuck in a corner even though he wasted his gadget. So this is looking pretty good for us here. There we go. Going to go for this shot. He uses his last gadget. So we're going to use our gadget now. So we have a really big advantage on him since we now have that gadget advantage. He's now pushed into our spawn. He's going to jump. If we can get two shots off quickly. There we go. I by accidentally spawn. I'm sorry. Force of habit. But we have a gadget advantage. We have a one kill advantage. So things are going pretty well for us. He's going to try and make a play. But I think we can go pretty aggressive here because there's nothing that he can really do since we have that gadget. We're going to be able to get another kill. And that's probably going to be game. I don't think he's going to be able to kill us twice with Poco within 15 seconds. So it was a really good effort. And to be honest, it was pretty smart of him to pick Poco this time instead of a different brawler. 
But unfortunately, it is not going to go down as a win. Oh, we could have had that kill. Unfortunate. But anyways, that is going to be the second game. So we are now 2 and 0. Oh. GG's to this guy. Literally, his name is this guy. His second time in these videos, I'm sure we're going to see him again in future videos. So that's going to be it for him. Let's move on to our next opponent, which is probably going to be a really tough match. Let's get into it and let's see what happens. All right, so here we go into the third game. We're going to be going up against CR7. Now, you guys probably know CR7. He's been in a couple of the videos helping me out. We just got his rank 35 BB yesterday. So really smart strat by him for picking BB. He's got that BB all warmed up. He's going to go right at us here. I'm trying to bait that knockback shot. He's probably going to be sweating this one out. BB1v1s are a little bit strange, but I'm sure we can pick this one off. It's a little bit of a difficult one. It's not like Brock or like Colt where it's just purely skill-based. see if we can cancel his regen. We're going to be able to. Trying to bait a shot here. Going to be able to right there. Should be able to get the kill. We are able to get the kill. Unfortunately, we do waste our bubble though, which kind of sucks. That's fine. One to nothing for us so far. Gonna move up. Gonna get a really good hit over there. Might be able to get another one. Oh, he's not gonna knock us back. No, I wasted my gadget too. I think he's used three gadgets though, and we've only used two. So that's the one advantage we have here. Gonna go for the knockback. Not gonna be able to get it. Gonna try and go closer and get him to waste his. Got to move him towards his side of the map here. Gonna use that knockback. Now we got our gadget out. So we got to try and be aggro here. Trying to waste his knockback. There we go. We got one shot on him. Should be able to get that one. And there we go. Two to one for us here. So we could play a little bit passive. But I do want another kill. I don't really want to play passive. Gonna try and get in his range. Just get a shot. We're going to be able to get one. Going to cancel his regen. He doesn't like that very much, apparently. Gonna try and bait one more shot here. We're just gonna swing first. Gonna be able to get a kill here. And that is going to be it. It's gonna be at least a 3-1 win for us. I think we're just gonna stand still and let him kill us for the pity. But that is going to be it for the BB. Good choice by CR7. Pretty good selection, but we did it this time. We got the W, so three wins, zero losses. We have two more opponents. Let's see what they pick. Let's hop into it and see what happens. All right, so here we go into our fourth game. Now, this guy's also really good. 36k trophies. So, we got some good competition this time. He's going to pick Brock with Jump. Now, you guys know from the last video, it's probably better in these to pick a low-skilled brawler. Just because we kind of practice these a little bit with the 1v1. So, Brock, I'm really used to in 1v1s. Now, this guy might beat me. I don't want to get overconfident here. But if I were to enter a 1v1 tournament and can only play one brawler, I would probably choose Brock, to be honest. So we're going to have the one nothing lead to start off. Now, this guy is a really good player. You can tell by his jukes. Oh, he's going to probably two-tap. No, he's not going to get it there. We're going to get a kill. Maybe not. He's going to jump out of it. Should have an easy kill here, though. Oh, we're choking. Oh, we're choking so hard. Let's just auto-aim him. Okay, I didn't want to auto-aim him, but we missed three straight shots there, so we went for the auto-aim. 2 nothing for us right now. This one is a little bit more intense of a 1v1, so my commentating might not be as strong here. Because Brock, as you guys know, is kind of a high-skilled brawler, so takes some focus. But we're going to be up 3 nothing. Pretty good. So far, he's going to jump forward. We're just trying to juke over here. Um, we're both hit. I'm gonna go for that right shot. I'm just gonna regen here. I've had him kind of in his spawn the whole time. So I don't wanna kind of, I don't wanna let him push us out and get to the mid. Some good jukes by him. We're gonna try and do the same. He's gonna hit us with one though. Gonna be able to get that hit over there. He's gonna go for a couple shots. Not gonna be able to hit them. We don't need a jump here. We're gonna go for a shot. Not gonna be able to hit it. Not much time left for him to come back, but we're going to try and get a kill anyways. We're going to low-key go for 7 stars because I enjoy Brock 1v1s. But it's 4 nothing at this point. Don't think he has too much of a chance to come back. We're going to use our first gadget. I honestly forgot that we had gadgets. Oh, I have to 3-tap him. Nope. Go. Okay, we're not going to be able to get 7 stars, but 4 nothing win. Not too bad. So we're going to be 4 no. We have one guy left in the 1v1 so we might save ourselves here we might not have to spend anything from the wallet like we did last time so let's hop into that final game and let's see what happens 
unfortunate. Okay, so here we go into our last game. We're gonna be going up against Fantastic Tree, and he's also going to choose Brock, but he's going to be going with the other gadget. So it's kind of unfortunate for him, but I'm a little bit warmed up on the Brock 1v1, but he seems to have hit the first shot. Oh, is he using four rocket? Oh, it's okay, whatever. He has a little bit of an advantage because of four rocket, but that's fine. We can we can give him a little bit of an advantage. So he's gonna be able, or I'm gonna be able to, sorry, to get the first kill. Gonna hit him again over there. With the gadget at max range, you don't need to aim if you auto aim, it's just gonna hit every time. Gonna be able to get another kill over there. So pretty strong start for us. Gonna be able to get that hit, I think. Gonna go with the gadget. That's gonna be another hit. So 40 seconds in, we got three kills so far. We are out of gadgets though, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, he's got a gadget, so I gotta back up now. Oh, he's using jump. Very interesting. So we're using completely wrong things. Complete opposite. But I'm pretty sure he told me to use this. So I'm not sure. We're gonna finish this one out either way. If I went the wrong stuff, we're going to redo the game. But I'm gonna be moving up here. Um, gonna go for the shots. He's gonna use jump, so he's looking pretty good here. It's kind of tied. He's got me one shot. Oh, he almost gets me, but I'm gonna be able to get that kill. So we got seven stars here. Looking pretty solid for us. He's gonna run to that right. He's gonna get hit a couple times. Almost got him. There we go. We got him. Honestly, I might be using the wrong stuff. I don't know. So this guy, I guess, is going to get another chance. Maybe he picks a different brawler. If I want the wrong stuff, he's allowed to pick a different brawler. If he feels like it, he's going to use the jump again. Nine seconds left. Eight. If we don't hit this shot. Okay, we hit the shot. I was going to let him get a kill if we didn't hit it, but we did. So, 5-0 and oh so far. Don't know if I use the right stuff. So we're going to check over chat. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we both used something wrong so let's see what he says completely up to him he said aimbot don't know what to do we'll ask him if he wants another chance if he wants another one we'll give it to him because we did it wrong but let's see what he says okay so we're gonna go into it again i asked him if he wanted to do it again he said sure so we're gonna give him a fair shot we don't want anyone to have an advantage over anyone else so another two minute game of brock here we've gotten a lot of brock or we've gotten to play a lot of brock which is pretty fun because I really enjoy Brock and we do this quite often. I don't 1v1 a ton, but when I do 50% of the time, it is with Brock. Because Brock is just the most fun 1v1 brawler. But this is going pretty well so far. 2-0, 20 seconds into the game. So a pretty good start for us. After losing to Toast in the last video, I do really want to keep my money this time instead of lose again. We should be able to hit that. Oh, we choke it. Oh, he's going to three tap us. He gets us. Okay, so he's going to be able to get the kill. We traded there, so 3-1, but really good kill by him. I kind of choked a couple shots there. Gonna be moving up here. He's forced against a wall already. Gonna whiff that one pretty bad. Jump for absolutely no reason. One minute left in the game. Gonna be able to get that two tap over there. So 4-1. This one's already looking pretty good. Although he did get a kill, he's gonna jump in. I'm just gonna rain the rockets down on him. He's gonna jump out of it. So he's got pretty good position. By jumping in and using that jump. 50 seconds left. I'm kind of getting backed up over here. Gonna use my new epic Brock pin that I got today from the battle pass. Let's see, he's two shot. I'm gonna do something very toxic to him. Oh my god, he's gonna clown me instead. Never mind. I was gonna try and get a kill by getting the jump or by jumping for damage, but it looks like he's gonna kill us instead. So I believe it's 4 2 now for us. So we could actually lose this one here. Going for the two tap, we're going to be able to get it. So that one's going to kind of assure that we get the win here. He's going to jump in. I don't know if he has another jump. I don't think he does. So I'm going to jump over his shots and that is going to be it for the 1v1 video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Let's use our last jump for fun. But I hope you guys did enjoy because I do enjoy making these videos. They are really fun to let you guys get a chance to play and earn something if you guys win. But that's going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah. I already said that, so that's going to be it for me today. I said that as well. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Peace.